Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 302. And this movie is called Space Jam 2 A New Legacy. Space Jam 2 A New Legacy is a 2021 film directed by Malcolm D. Lee. There is a sequel to Space Jam, the 1996 movie. This stars LeBron James and Bud's Bunny. So I saw this movie on July 31st, 2021 at Kenwood Video in Kenwood, Ohio, and I loved it. As much as the first film, as far as, I may have just liked the first film a little bit more, but the second film was super awesome. Um, so, I, so this is about superstar LeBron James who wants to teach his young son, Dom, about basketball. However, Dom likes to become a video game designer and doesn't really want to do basketball. Well, one day when they were at Warner Bros. Studios in California, they get trapped in this digital space by a world AI named Algorithm who is played by Don Cheadle. To get home safely and to get his son back, LeBron teams up with the Looney Tunes, Buzz Bunny, Daffy Duck, and the rest of the Looney Tunes team for a high-stakes basketball game against the AI's digitalized champions of the court, a power-up roster called the Goon Squad. So, in the first movie, the Rooney Tunes face off against the Monsters, and the second movie is the Doom Squad. And the rules are simple: if LeBron and the Buzz, if LeBron and the Rooney Tunes win the basketball game, they get to return home safely, and LeBron gets his son back. However, if AI's team wins, then LeBron and the Rooney Tunes will be trapped. In the Silver Force forever, and the Rooney Tunes and the Rooney Tunes will be a waste. So, the Braun in the Rooney Tunes has to take down these high digitalized champions that are like super good, super powerful. But the Braun and the Rooney Tunes have a secret weapon of their own: teamwork. This was very good. <clears throat> Um, so, a few things about the film, <coughs> sorry, a few things about the film, it was originally going to be directed by Terrence Nance, but he backed down over creative differences, so Malcolm D. Lee was the overall director of this film. Um, Cave Sushi, I believe that's her name, who voiced Royal Bunny in the first film, was originally going to reprise her role in the second film. But it ended up going to Zendaya. Another thing. LeBron James is in this movie. Like, you know how Michael Jordan, who was a basketball player in the first movie? And the second movie is LeBron James versus basketball. And I don't want to spoil too much. But let's just say there was a surprise cameo in the movie. It is not what you would expect. In other words, <clears throat> it was awesome to see this guy in the movie, but I don't want to reveal any spoilers, but there was a surprise cameo in the movie, and it's awesome. Um, again, I won't say what happens in the movie, but I will say that LeBron and Dom go to the Warner Bros. Studios in California, and they get trapped in the Silver Force. That's where Al G. with them is in. And there is a lot, and I repeat, a lot of things associated with the Silver Force for many properties of Warner Bros. like The Matrix, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, uh, yeah. Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty, Wolverines, Hobbit, DC. Yeah, they got a bunch of stuff of DC Ward. And 
the Looney Tunes, of course, right? When I mean a bunch of Warner Bros. properties, I mean a lot. I feel like they might have overdid it on that a little bit, because I have heard from critics they have re criticized in that point, but I really like that they brought in characters from Warner Bros. and surprise cameos. Um, but this was very good in my opinion. Um, and I've been hearing that if they make a Space Jam free, it might go to wrestling with the walk. Cool. But shout out to LeBron James in this movie and the Looney Tunes. You guys are awesome. So you guys gotta check this movie out. It is currently on HBO Max for a month. And this is from Warner Bros. Pictures and Warner Animation Group. Cool. So that's my movie review of Space Stream 2 New Legacy. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.